again, Kalein Crystal here for our first episode of Nine to Wine and, and Whiskey. We are drinking whiskey today because it's been a long, long week. week. And it's only Wednesday. Yeah, it's only, it's only Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about how to keep your family balance along with working, building a business, whatever that looks like. Yeah, how do you keep your family happy while you're working on your goals and you're striving and doing all this big stuff that yes. you're up to. How do you keep it all balanced is really what we wanted to talk about today. Yes. So first and foremost, being a mom is one of the most important, most rewarding, but challenging jobs, especially when you are a working mommy. So balancing your family and finding that niche that is going to help with your passion and incorporate that in the business world is so important. So important. <laughs> mommy ain't Literally happy, ain't nobody memory. happy. <laughs> so we are gonna help you today with some advice and Spill alcohol abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a drink. <laughs> so Crystal, what would you say for you is um, one of the biggest things that has helped you balance being a mommy and being amazing at what you do with work. You know, a big thing for me has always been incorporating my family into my goals. And especially, I have one little girl who's six and she is just so ambitious and competitive. And she's really actually gotten me to be more competitive, which is really fun. But um, getting her involved in my goals and getting my family involved in my goals. So we also want to give a big shout out to our friend Haley Kohlberg. She practices family law here in Colorado and she gave us some great family tips also on really how to keep that life balance with your family yes. um, and the first thing she said was don't be afraid to say no when it comes to work and be selfish a little bit if your family is important to you really make that known and there's there's a time that you just have to cut off when it comes to work and and don't be afraid to say no be yes. the provider be the one to you know go out and get it for your family but don't be afraid to say no when it's when it's time. Well, I mean, in some businesses, like lending or when you're a real estate agent, I understand uh, you you have to be ready and available to your clients all the time, which is amazing. It's it's your work ethic. You can I can appreciate that. Just make sure that you're spending some time to delegate your time, where you're clocking out from whatever it is you're doing, whether you're an agent, whether you whatever profession you're in, clocking out from being a mom, go to the gym. Um, do whatever it is that's gonna give you some time to just be you, because that's the most important part. If you're not good, then everything else in your life is gonna fall apart. Yeah, and whether it's a whole day, right, that you pick for you and your family, or maybe it's just an hour, like Kale said, so get to the gym, take care of yourself, just get your sanity back. So important. And tip number two from Haley was to really utilize technology for your benefit. For example, you can grocery shop online now and just go pick it up rather than, you know, dragging your kids, especially if you have multiple kids under the age of four. <laughs> Utilize technology to your benefit and really allowing you to work smarter and not harder. So exactly. you can get more quality time with your family. Yes, I agree with that. Also, to touch on the technology portion, what I used to try to utilize in the past is set, setting a time where whether it's an hour, 30 minutes, two hours, whatever it may be, putting phones up, turning them off, and just really putting focus and time and energy and just all of your attention on family. I think that that is so crucial and it's so important to not only keep a marriage together if you're married, a relationship together, or just that bond you have with your children. It's so important to do that. So yeah, and you're not going to build those memories and those things that you're going to remember in life by looking on Facebook or looking on social media and seeing what other people are doing when you've got your family right there. So if that's what you love doing, especially mindless social media time, allow time for that, but make sure you you, know, you have that significant time with your family, that quality time, and then you've got that kind of binge time for yourself as well. I agree. The most important thing to remember with anything social, anything networking, anything professional, family, the whole nine, is comparison is the thief of joy. So you be proud in who you are, what you're doing, what you have, and have a grateful heart for everything that you have built, you have sustained anything that you have you have in the palm of your hands. You can always reach higher, get goals, and meet a better standard for yourself. But I think if you compare yourself to others, that's going to kill you in the long run because everybody has a different story and everybody has a different path to get there. So 
you just keep focused on your path and what you're doing and your inner strength, you're gonna be just fine. And don't be afraid to ask for help, and that's really what we yes. we are so excited to encourage everybody that, you know, find a couple close friends that live in your neighborhood or nearby that you can switch off time with the kids or, you know, different things. Don't be afraid to ask for help, and I hope that that's what everyone really gets out of this movement with us is yes. to reach out to each other, do play dates, do, you know, different things that you can get some of that mommy time, the kids can get their kid time, and it all can work out. Sometimes you need a break and you shouldn't feel guilty because when you get that break, it's gonna make you that much better and more um, functional for yeah. the babies. And it helps them as well. It's not a bad thing. Kids need a break from you too. If you've got so much you're doing, they miss you then. They get a break from mom or dad or both and then they get to kind of channel their own energy within themselves as an individual, separate from that. So it helps both and are all parties involved to take a break, ask for some help, and don't beat yourself up. It's, it's hard work. Yeah. It's hard work being a mom. <laughs> so thank you again, Haley, for your tips, and I hope this really helped um, just to really bring us all together as women and that we're all going through something very similar. And like Kalei said, don't compare your stories, but know that there's somebody out there that can relate and we're here for each other and let's, let's help each other build everything that we want to. And if you have any tips that we didn't cover that really work for you and keeping that work-life balance, um, feel free to share it in the comments or even film your own little video and share that in the comments. We would love yes, to hear from you it. and we'd love to see you and let's keep this movement up. Yes. Babe supporting babes. babes. Supporting babes. Business planning and, and event planning. planning. You guys have a wonderful week. Cheers. See you soon. Cheers.